It's difficult for three little girls to imagine what it would be like to spend their days and nights at sea fighting for American freedom. Well, imagining gets a little easier with about a half a day day trip to the USS Yorktown in Charleston, South Carolina. You can walk right onto the aircraft carrier. Once on board, you can try a flight simulator, see fighter planes, even put yourself in the pilot seat. Hey look, a plane built for air and water. What's that called? Often learning for us means discovering a new word. Amphibious. Read it to me, what does it mean? Um, amphibious. Amphibious. Uh, capable? capable of living on both land and water. Living on the water meant eating there. Crews preparing nearly 10,000 meals a day. It meant sleeping there on these, or worse yet, these. Can you imagine? No comfy princess blankets here. It's where you go to the doctors, the dentist, and even to church. It's where you build torpedoes, transport bombs, navigate foreign waters, command missions, and launch and land fighter planes. It's where you dedicate a big chunk of your life defending American freedom. Hard to imagine? Yes. But after a day, or really half a day, of literally putting yourself in someone else's seat, of climbing up, down, and across what was often a fighting, floating city, if you just start to imagine a life you're not required to live, and realize there were folks who did, all to defend your freedom, well, then a day spent at the USS Yorktown is a day well spent.